How you doing folks, Nick here again, and today we are going to uh, do an unboxing and trial of the AAA Car Essentials Car Battery Solar Charger. The reason I bought this charger is that it comes with uh, a plug for the ODB2 socket, so you don't need to mess around with running wires through the engine bay. Uh, what you may or may not know is the ODB socket actually has a 12 volt live at all times, um, one of the pins has that along with uh, two different ground pins. One of them I think is chassis ground, the other one's engine ground. I could be mistaken, but all I know is both of them are ground pins. So, uh, the battery in the Daihatsu Copen is rather small. So, to keep it kind of topped off in between intermittent journeys, particularly, you know, over winter, if you're not going to be driving it, or if you only drive it very occasionally, um, this will help prevent the battery from going as flat as a pancake. Um, so we will give it a try and see what it's like. Uh, you can ignore the brown packing tape either side, that was me uh, repacking it. Um, inside the box you get the solar panel charger itself, the blue light flashes when it's receiving a charge, uh, the two different clips. As I said, I'm not going to bother using the uh, battery terminal clips, I'm going to use exclusively the ODB2 clip. So we'll open it up and see what it's like. So this is what you get when you uh, open up the box. You have the two battery terminal clips um, here. You have the ODB socket and the solar panel charger. And you can already note um, the light is already flashing blue, meaning that it is getting a charge. Now it's not going to be a massive charge, but it'll be a charge nonetheless. And it should help keep the battery from going flat, which has happened to me a few times because the Copen's battery is so small. So I'm going to unbox this and then I am going to run a multimeter over it uh, to see how much current it's throwing out. If my multimeter supports current, I think it does. And uh, the voltage as well. We should hopefully be getting maybe 12 volts if we're lucky. Um, but, you know, as I keep saying, it's just to make sure that the battery is topped off. It's not to replace uh, a battery charger should you need it. Um, and most certainly will probably not work indoors. Now today is a very overcast kind of day, um, so I'm quite surprised that the, the light is flashing. Um, so I will we'll read the instructions next, which is probably going to be very basic, uh, because it's not that difficult of a unit, and then uh, see how we get along. So according to the uh, instructions, we shouldn't get any overage, um, any battery overcharge with this uh, with this device. So I've plugged it into my uh, trusty multimeter, and I'm getting 13, 14-ish sort of volts, and this is just with it sitting on the passenger seat. If I move it up to here, which is where it'll probably end up living, we should get a bit more um, if the clip didn't fall out. So we're getting approximately 19 volts. You wouldn't expect that from something so very small, um, but there you go. So... Uh, you might be wondering what the amperage is as well. I'll put it on to 20 milliamps. Plug it back in. There's my clip fell out. And we're getting, what's that, 7-ish milliamps. So not a huge amount of amperage, so it shouldn't damage the, the battery. Um, so it should be fine. Now, one thing I would say is if you are going driving with this afterwards, um, just be sure to remove the ODB2 socket to prevent any backflow, although I imagine it's going to be damn near impossible to damage that uh, device with any, with any kind of back pressure, shall we say. Um, so, that is, I, I'm quite happy with it. Whether or not it'll keep the battery going is another question. I might do uh, an addendum to this video, or a secondary video to this, uh, in the next two months, three months after I've had enough time for it to kind of burn in, so to speak. Um, but so far, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Now, all I need to do next is plug in the ODB connector into the uh, panel and then into the car, and it should be good to go. Um, I might try to find somewhere a bit better to leave it than there. I was possibly thinking maybe the parcel, parcel shelf in the back. Um, but then you have the, the issue of the wires running down along here, um, which actually might be a very good idea. Uh, because it will mean that I won't drive away with it stuck uh, in the on the back here in the parcel shelf. Um, I will throw a link to the uh, item in the doobly-doo. I got it from Amazon. I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but it was fairly cheap. And it's just a small little piece of mind for a car, any kind of car, particularly a Copen though with this tiny battery, um, to keep it just kind of topped off and, and you know, humming along nicely electrically. So, as always, it's been a pleasure, and I hope to see you soon.